Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of a secured system development life cycle guys. So in short form, it is called as a secured SDLC or few members might be writing SC as a DLC, but it's a bit confusing guys. So it is always better to write SEC because it will be saying that security after that SDLC. Okay. Yes. So it is also a similar process like SDLC guys. So with SDLC, if you add some security with it, so it becomes SDLC. Okay. So SSDLC, that is nothing more secured SDLC guys. Okay. Yes. Okay. So let us continue. So the same phases used in a traditional SDLC may be adopted to support the specified specific specialized implementation of an project with information security so basically our goal is to add security guys yes yes so here the identification of the specific threat and creating control to the counter is done here okay so in short form it is called as a secured sdlc okay so if you ask me what are the steps so these are the steps guys so initially you will be doing some investigation then you will do some analysis on that you will be creating some logical design then you will be doing the physical design then implementation after that maintenance and maintenance and changes again you'll be checking and again you'll be investigating and this process will continue guys okay yes so if you want me to give you an introduction now itself it's, it will be easy right yes so investigation so investigation is nothing but you will be analyzing your system that will there are there any protection potential threats or any kind of attacks and all those things you will be in, in, in investigating here guys so you will be identifying you will be keeping your eye on eye open for any kind of issues and you will be identifying them so that is nothing but your investigation phase okay after that once investigation you identified some issues then you will be analyzing them so how much will they affect what is the cost to resolve them what we need to take what precautions you should take all those things will be analyzing here guys okay so once your analysis is done then you will be doing some designing guys okay so till now you understood right everything now you need to design something so that it will be omitting that attack right yes so that is nothing but your logical design okay so once the logical design like in computer or somewhere on paper or some kind of blueprints they'll be saying so those things once you have drawn you can move on to physical design guys. so you'll be designing that in your real time okay so once it is done you'll be starting your implementation Okay, so implementation is nothing but here you started the physical design like how it should be like models, dummy models and all those things. Here implementation means you will be giving the project to someone, some other company or you will be doing the project on your own and you will be successfully implementing it. So once implementation is done, then you will be maintaining and doing any kind of changes. Okay, so these are the exact steps what I told you are written here in sentences guys. Okay, so if you want any kind of lengthy answer, please let me know in the comments or you can personally message me guys. Okay, so I will be sharing the then the answer also if you need i'll be searching and i'll be sharing it okay yes so system investigation so this process is started by the officials or direct directives working at the top level of management of organization so someone will be initializing this investigation so it, it assume that there is a case so the higher authorities will be saying for you to take the case so they'll be assigning someone to do it so someone will be assigned here okay so the main goal is to know what problem in the system being developed to solve okay so first of all if you want to solve a problem the problem should exist right so that problem identification is done here guys okay so all the objectives constraints and the scope of the project are specified okay then moving on to system analysis that is nothing but in this phase detailed document analysis of documents from the system investigation phase are done okay so previously executing existing security policies and everything will be compared guys because here we are doing analysis right so how much will they affect what are the vulnerabilities and all those things we'll be checking here okay so further moving on we'll be moving on to logical design okay so in logical design you'll be creating some blueprints guys i think i wrote it somewhere yes so you'll be creating some logical blueprints that involves all the requirements so basically what are the requirements everything you'll be specifying here guys that is nothing but logical design then you'll be doing some physical design so physical design is nothing but with the help of tools and blueprints and you'll be creating some dummy models you can say okay then implementation so implementation can be done by your company or some other company also so basically assume that you are a small company with no coding employees so basically they don't know how to code but they will be using the products and they'll be creating something right yes so in this situation you'll be outsourcing your project guys your security model or project you'll be outsourcing it to a bigger company the coding companies and they'll be solving it and they'll be pay you will be paying some money and they'll be returning their final project and you'll be using it so that is a process guys okay so all the main stages are ordered okay and everything will be done testing and all those things will be done guys okay so then moving on to maintenance so basically every some frequent of time they'll be doing some maintenance guys like how everything are running are they running every fine or not they'll be checking and everything will be done okay so this is all about secured sdlc guys so i hope everyone got at least some basic idea right yes 
so in the next lecture we will be discussing about the needs of security so basically why we need the security so that's what we will be discussing in our next lecture okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching